All right, tomorrow is butchering day for these Cornish Cross chickens. Uh, they are eight weeks old now. These Freedom Rangers, we still have a few weeks on them. Because we are butchering them tomorrow, we need to restrict their feed. So no feeding them uh, today. Uh, no feeding for 24 hours before butchering because that just helps make the bird more cleaner. It's okay if they eat the grass. Oh, we got an acorn squash? Yeah. The vine boar beetle, he came and he ate my plant. Another one of my plants. They really like this buttercup squash. He hasn't really messed with the other ones too much, but this is like the second plant that he's gotten. But I killed him this morning. Okay. Squashed his guts in my eye. Ooh. <laughs> I know. <laughs> so the day before, we're about to process these guys and put them in our freezer. Uh, we need to set up the whole chicken processing setup. <laughs> we butcher these chickens in our backyard and we've been doing it uh, for about three years now. And being from the Los Angeles area and not used to raising chickens, growing food, butchering chickens, I mean, uh, for us, I think it's something that it was important for us to learn on how to do, how to raise chickens. And today uh, is basically preparing for tomorrow and taking out all of our equipment and getting everything set up and ready to go for tomorrow. So what are you thinking about this fence? I, I like want it like now. <laughs> That's hard for me to wait. I'm, I'm excited, we're gonna grow more food. We're not gonna have rabbits and groundhogs eating our food. I can plant beets and not worry about them because so far I've already planted like three packets of beets and they've gotten eaten. Well, we haven't got the fence yet, but we need to take measurements of the garden, figure out what kind of fence we're gonna use and how much fencing we're actually gonna need. Can you hold that? All right, 75 feet. Get to that corner right there. 31 feet. All right, Penelope, we need about 212 feet of fencing. Ideally, I mean, I think I would want a permanent fence here. I don't feel like I have the time to actually be building a fence right now. I'm actually thinking about uh, electric netting like this for our yeah. garden. What do you think? Yeah, that's what I thought. You thought that too? Yeah. Okay. Hey, Bernice. Good morning. I like the idea of this portable fencing, much like how the chickens have. And if we use the same type of fencing, we can use it the whole garden and it's also dual purpose. So eventually, maybe when I decide to do a more permanent fence, uh, we could still use this portable fencing on our chickens. Or if we get more chickens or we could, who knows, if we get sheep, but I don't know, I, I think that would be our best bet, Penelope, the portable fencing. Yeah. I think that's a great idea. Mm -hmm. Are these red tomatoes yeah, or they're, they're yellow? They're yellow. We have okay. so many of these variety. I don't know why, but we planted like <laughs> a, a whole packet and now we have them in here and we have them out there and I kind of wish we would have had a little more variety. What is happening in here? I'm preparing all the foods. <laughs> For what? Well, well when, when we have like a garden that's like throwing food at us, it's important to like prep it and keep it organized in the fridge or else your fridge is like packed and then things tend to go moldy in the back. So it's good to kind of get on it right away. So I'm making one good way to like preserve uh, your harvest is like sauerkraut. And I'm making a cabbage and zucchini and onion and it has a Anaheim chili pepper and some turmeric and oregano. This all came from our garden. <laughs> yes. Everything, Besides the cabbage right, there. Well, yeah, the cabbage didn't come from our garden. But yeah, like we have cucumbers and carrots and beets and zucchini and ca more carrots and beets. I'm also prepping lunch for tomorrow. We're, ha we're going to be having Art and Bree over to help process our chickens. So we're going to feed them lunch. So I'm trying to get everything kind of prepped up for that. So that way we could kind of come in and lunch is already ready.
All right, we need to move these chickens again. Almost done setting up. That's where the cones are gonna be. We're gonna stick the chickens upside down in them. And uh, easy ups. Easy ups is key to be comfortable. <laughs> We're using some tarps for some shade. Everything needs to be washed. All right, good job, Penelope. dark on me <laughs> but everything should be set up we have the chicken plucker best thing to have when you're butchering chickens easy ups cones scalder tables ice chests uh, so tomorrow morning first thing go grab a bunch of ice but tomorrow is a big day here for us but uh, tomorrow we butcher chickens